Chapter 34, Pathology of Renal Infection. The phenomena of renal infection are due to a common bacterial cause, but clinically they present the widest variety, both in intensity and in duration. No contrast could be greater than that between microscopic bacteriuria and a hyperacute focal suppurative nephritis. Yet the one may, under appropriate circumstances, be transformed into the other. Footnote, recent observations by Crabtree tend to dissociate more clearly than ever before the acute lesions of the renal parenchyma due to pyogenic cocci from those of the pelvis due to bacillus coli. We are obliged to consider the lesions of pelvis and parenchyma separately. Indeed, in the preceding chapter, we have spoken of infection reaching the kidney parenchyma first and then the pelvis. Yet clinically speaking, inflammation of the pelvis of the kidney means inflammation of its ureter and of the kidney parenchyma as well. While inflammation of the kidney parenchyma without some inflammation of the kidney pelvis is the rarest of exceptions. Thus, the lesions described below form only the various parts and phases of a single picture of what we know as renal infection. The lesions of renal infection may be classified as follows. 1. Acute suppuration of the kidney. A. The pyemic kidney. B. Focal suppurative nephritis. 2. Acute pyelitis. 3. Chronic pyelonephritis. 4. Pyonephrosis. 5. Infected hydronephrosis. 6. Perinephritis. A. Fibrolipomatous. B. Suppurative. 7. Rare inflammatory conditions of the renal pelvis. A. Pyelitis granulosa. B. Malacoplachia. C. Pyelitis cystica. D. Leukoplachia. E. Incrustation.